Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to a new Costco Canada haul. In today's haul, I'm sharing everything I picked up for the week. Plus, I'm hosting a new giveaway, so stay tuned for details on that. Now let's go ahead and get right into this haul. I am so good at pretending. Keep on smiling in my time, bubble. Like a moment without ending. Spending time like it was going backwards. All right, so this week I really didn't get that much, but I sure did spend a lot and it's mainly because of that and of course these, so let's get into it. Got some frozen broccoli for the freezer. This is just good to have on hand and they had this broccoli with these dumplings as a sample today, so I had to go ahead and duplicate what they gave us. I also picked up some seaweed snacks. This is something I don't buy often. They did go ahead and change the price, and I think the quantity is different too. But anyways, went ahead and grabbed this for healthy chips while everyone else is having unhealthy stuff. I can opt for this instead. It's actually really good and my favorite seaweed to buy hands down. I also picked up some alkaline water. I haven't seen this in the warehouse before, and I was looking for this. I was planning on ordering some alkaline water online and having it delivered because it's just too much of a process to pick it up myself but seeing this in the warehouse I figured Marty here I might as well just try this one out so there's four huge packs that come in here I wish I can see what it looks like but this box is oh this is actually a really big bottle so it looks like four of these huge alkaline waters in here oh I like how fancy that looks there that looks nice um, so yeah went ahead and picked that up for me want to try to do some alkaline water and I'm hoping this is the cheaper way out because it's super expensive at this store. Now I did go ahead and get this Epson Eco Tank printer. I got the ET3850. This is the one that's on sale. It's supposed to come with all this ink and stuff so I'll eventually do a review on this once I use it for a while. I don't want to give like a first impression because every printer works good when you first start using it until like a month later when it usually starts giving trouble so I'll just keep you guys posted on it you can print you can copy and scan it has Wi-Fi connection which is what I love auto two-sided print front paper input auto copy scan mobile printing which is what I love the most LCD and cartridge free print head don't know what that means but it sounds interesting this is gonna go straight in my office and on my desk in my office so I'll show you what that looks like once it gets to where it needs to go and once I work up the courage and the strength to try to set this up myself but went ahead and got this I wanted to get that before the sale ended so I'm happy I did I also picked up some uh, toilet paper we are down to our last few so needed to get more and the Kirkland signature one is my favorite to get we were also completely out of our avocado oil, so I picked up the avocado oil. This is my favorite, the only one that I buy. And I also needed some avocado oil spray, and same brand, I love it so much. It's pretty pricey, but honestly, I like using good oils. That's just my preference. I don't mind spending a little for that. I also picked up more of these sandwich sliced pickles. My kids love that. They went through our jar in like a week, even though that jar has been in the fridge for months. They finally realized that we had some and they completely <laughs> ran us out of it. On my shop today, there was a road show, a KFI road show. The girls came shopping with me and they tried this coconut curry sauce and I swear to you, they kept going back for extras. I think they had like six samples each. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Every time we passed by the area they just kept going back I asked them if they would eat it if I bought it at home versus in store they said that they would we'll see about that because now we have three of them but it is really good it's definitely spicy so if you don't like spice you're probably not gonna like this and the coconut flavor is not super strong it's just like a little bit on the creamy side but the sauce is good they serve this with basmati rice and some chickpeas that they sauteed, I guess, or simmered in the sauce. The sauce is usually, anything KFI is usually good to just heat up and serve. That's it, so easy, you don't have to add anything to it, it's already done for you. 
I also was completely out of sea salt, so I went ahead and grabbed more sea salt. And I also picked up a ton of snacks and healthier versions of snacks in my opinion. Got these extra large roasted and salted peanuts. I love these. I go through this in like two, three weeks. It's so good. It's hard to put those down. And those are great to have. Great, great, great to have. I also picked up this honey roasted nut mix. My husband really likes that one. And honestly, I like it too. It's really good. And I picked up some of these diced peaches in the cup for the kids. This is great for school lunches and snacks, especially when you don't have any fresh fruit on hand. I like to keep this in the pantry for those days when we're running low on fresh produce, but I still want to send them with somewhat of a healthier option and then I also picked up these organic roasted chestnuts so this is something that I haven't bought before at Costco and honestly I usually only have chestnuts when I'm at like family's house but I figured this would be just a healthier alternative to snack on so went ahead and got it plus they're organic and they there's like six bags six bags so this should last me a pretty long time and I also picked up this huge bag of gala apples I feel like there's way more apples in here than normal but they're also smaller sizes and this is going to be the last time I buy apples at Costco for the next few months because apple picking is opening up near me and if you know anything about me you know I love to go apple picking with my family so we're gonna pick some galas and we're gonna pick some honey crisps and we're going to not need to buy apples again for such a long time. Probably we'll have to buy apples again in November because if we pick in September twice, we should be good for September. Plus October, the only thing is sometimes we don't make it to November. So I'm going to see what I can do to get enough apples to last us at least until the beginning of November. That would be good. And I got some medium cheddar cheese. We ate through our whole block that we got recently. So I went ahead and grabbed another. And this is good to have for school lunches too. And this is the sample that we tried and we loved. I've actually always wanted to try this. And I didn't want to commit to buying it without trying it first. But let me tell you, it's so good. You can technically microwave it. Yeah, so you can microwave it. There's like six trays that come in here. But the person at the sample table... I'm guessing they microwaved it first and then sauteed it because they sauteed it with this broccoli and the dumplings were like a little bit brown on the outside I'm guessing from pan frying it like sauteing it whatever so I'm gonna try to see if I can make it be like how it was in the store because that's what my kids liked about it and we're actually going to be trying this for dinner tonight. That's what they requested. They liked it so much they had me buy it and ask for it for dinner. So we'll see how that goes. I also wanted to get more of these mini pizzas before the sale ended. This is great for school lunches. I can guarantee you on the first day of school, my kids are likely going to take one of these pizzas as their lunch because they like it. It's easy. They're miniature size and they're so, so good. I also picked up some uh, string cheese, some cheese string, <laughs> got that for the kids. Great little snack to add in the lunchbox. And last but not least, I picked up two shop cards. These are two $50 shop cards and I'm hosting a giveaway, so let me share some details on that. All right, so recently we hit 10,000 subscribers and I promised you all then when we hit 10,000 subscribers that I'd be hosting a giveaway and it's finally time to do the giveaway. I picked up two shop cards. They're each valued at 50 Canadian dollars. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, be subscribed to my channel and two, comment regularly and let me know in the comments in this video that you want to enter the giveaway and then you'll be entered. Anyways, all these details are going to be in the description box below. So so go ahead and check that out again all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave a comment to let me know that you want to enter and in order to be chosen you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to comment on my videos regularly what I want to say about this giveaway is that it's not going to only be new people winning I'm also going to select one of my top viewers who probably already won a giveaway in the past they're going to win again because I see you I appreciate you and for everyone who wants to win who hasn't won before or is new here enter as many giveaways as I host <laughs> because you never know when you'll be chosen and instead of one there's two winners this time so 
good luck everyone and thank you all so much for watching if you're new here again make sure that you're subscribed okay because i do things like this pretty often i don't know when the next one will be but i do do them spontaneously or especially whenever we hit a major milestone so thanks everyone for watching thanks everyone for supporting and just being here for me joining the fam shopping with me sharing your shopping list I love talking all things shopping at Costco clearly so I'm happy that you're all here so thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys